So Charlie Lee, as most of us know, is the inventor of Litecoin. He's a great guy, he's accessible, he's all over Twitter. He's a humble guy as well. And now he went to the um, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. He's had a, a very uh, successful career. He actually worked for Google. And he left Google, and he's actually now went to work for Coinbase, which is the largest uh, uh, exchange in the United States on which you can actually buy Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. Now, the thing is this. Everybody always asks, well, who is uh, Satoshi Nakamoto? And that's the big mystery. There's all sorts of theories out there. Well, Satoshi Nakamoto could be actually a collection of people. doesn't necessarily have to be one person. But I have this interesting theory. I don't know how accurate it may be, but it's a theory. My theory is, isn't it possible that maybe Charlie Lee is Satoshi Nakamoto? And here's why I say it. It's number one because it's this, you know, I think he wanted to create Bitcoin and see whether or not it was going to work and then be accepted, which it was. But then he realized what the shortcomings of Bitcoin were once it started working. So what does he do? He creates Litecoin. And now he can put his face and his name to something. Because technically, and I'm hearing it being said more and more, while, while uh, Charlie likes to call uh, Litecoin the silver to Bitcoin gold, I'm starting to hear more and more people say that actually Bitcoin is like MySpace and Litecoin is like Facebook. So whether Charlie is or Charlie isn't, I don't know. I just think it's fun. Either way, the whole crypto community is just an amazing opportunity. It's changing the world. It's changing the way we do business. It's bringing freedom, and it's the democratization of global money. Because I see that every time these cryptocurrencies go up in value, that's a vote against traditional government-issued fiat currency. <laughs>